What's up everybody? It's your boy Nasho and welcome to Coolin TV. Before I get started with this video, I'm gonna need y'all to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at official Nasho. Alright, y'all. So in this video, we're talking about Kodak Black. If you haven't heard, Kodak Black did get an arrest warrant issued for him, man, after failing a drug test. And it seemed like the drug was fattening all y'all so he appeared in court today he turned himself in yesterday and pretty much what they saying in court what his lawyers saying they arguing that kodak black you know his drug test was mixed up with another patient this is the story they going with right now what y'all the video y'all about to see in a minute the judge did offer him to take a hair sample like pretty much on the spot so they wanted him to take a hair sample so they can clear the thing all up kodak black and his lawyer said no they said no i'm gonna just go to a drug rehab um habilitation thing uh, for the next 30 days why they rate the pre-trial but man i don't know i don't know how this gonna play out man my boy that fentanyl is nothing to play with with. I'm not sure if it is the other patient. Maybe they did mix up, you know, the patient and Kodak Black's drug test. It could be possible. All right, it could be possible. And maybe he just didn't want to take no hair sample. They just didn't want to do that. All right, so in the video, y'all about to see, we're going to watch it together. After the court hearing, they asked uh, Kodak Black, do he want some questions? Can I ask you a question? He straight up said no. We're going to see how it play out. And let's go ahead and watch the clip real quick. Well, Kodak Black, very outspoken in court today, saying this was all a mix up. Well, the judge gave him an opportunity to try and clear up that mix-up by providing a hair sample to conduct a drug test. Well, he refused, rather, choosing to check into a rehab facility instead. Can, can we talk to you about the judge's ruling today? No, no. Thank you so much, sir. No comment from South Florida rapper Kodak Black as he walked out of a Broward County courtroom with his attorney Bradford Cohen by his side. I just feel like there's so much great things, so much things people do, like, together, like, there's so much things people do together than prison. Chill. Kodak, whose real name is Bill Capri, faced a judge Tuesday in an orange suit after turning himself in following an arrest warrant issued for violation of his pretrial release. Authorities said he tested positive for fentanyl during a random drug test earlier this month. It is just unjust and not right about this situation. Black addressing the judge after the pretrial release technician testified he may have mixed up the samples between Black and another patient. There's no way he tested positive. We can resolve that by way of a hair sample. I understand that. That'll clear you. Judge Barbara Duffy then asking for a hair sample today to clear up the alleged mix-up, which Black refused, rather, choosing to check into the Legacy Rehabilitation Facility for 30 days as part of his pretrial release. Black was initially arrested in July after state troopers pulled him over and found 31 oxycodone pills and nearly $75,000 in cash, in addition to Black driving with an expired license and tag. And there y'all have it. I think they played it smart, you know, don't take my hair sample, I don't want to get no hair sample today. It was a mix-up. That's all it was. It was a mix up. I'm going to go ahead and do my 30 days in the rehab facility. You know, it, it was a mix up. We're going to prove it. I love Kodak Black's lawyer, man. He got a good lawyer. He got a great lawyer. And that's why he pay him the big bucks. All right. So, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this whole thing in the comment box down below. Remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Instagram at Official Nash Show. And I'm going to catch y'all in that next video. Peace out.